Alright, here we are with the first video in the new series on goodandevo.net called Been There, ROM That. Where about every two weeks, I'll flash a new ROM onto my HTC Evo 4G, show you guys how it works, what it looks like, and my overall opinion of the ROM. Today's ROM, we have the MIUI ROM version 1.4.29, developed by Stiff Spliff. It's an Android 2.3.3 ROM, and it's ASOP. But there's a lot of good reviews about this ROM out there, so let's get into it. First off, I want to show you guys a live screen which gives you three options on how to unlock your phone. Straight to the dialer, straight to messaging, or straight to the home screen. The first thing you'll notice about this is how it has the screen effects when you change screens. You go to the left or right, it makes this 3D cube effect. In the first video I made about this, someone asked, how did I do that? You want to go into settings, personal, and then scroll down to launcher settings where it'll have transition effects and it has all of them in there the other one that I really like is fall down which kinda of throws the page off to the side and falls down like as it's a little block it comes pre-installed like hardly any apps on it it like, comes with the market on it so you don't have to worry about adding that but anything else is in Google Apps those are not on here you have to download Gmail by yourself comes with four home screens to start off with but you can add more if you want all you have to do is press the little plus button down here and if you want to delete one of them you just hit the X button All right, obviously missed they also come with some of their own types of widgets or a lot that you've already seen before their music widget is different from regular sense or regular ASO AOSP ROMs calendar widget there are four, three different kind of photo frame widgets, notes widget, folder widget which is back here, and the other ones are some I, I downloaded. This ROM has a lot of customization to it. As you can see in the top bar, that green bar right there, it's actually my battery bar, which I really like the way that looks. This ROM is really fast, really stable, it's supposed to have great battery life. The first day I booted it up, I was getting about, let's see what that says, 12 hours, 5 minutes in a whole day with that, in which I made some phone calls. That's why it started to drop fast. The only weakness to this ROM is that it does not have 4G, but for people that don't live in a 4G city, that really doesn't matter to you, but for you, for those that do, it's not on here and I don't think it's coming anytime soon though they, though they do say that they're working on it to incorporate it in the future. Let's take a look into the settings which we have common which is stuff like airplane mode, Wi-Fi check to see if that works so that's on that works what else do we have Bluetooth wallpaper call ringtone, display, call settings, MMS settings, personal, personal password, my location, theme manager, sound settings, same from any other ROM that you'd find, system, airplane mode, mobile network settings. What I really like about this ROM is it has a built-in portable hotspot, which actually does work. It takes a little while to turn on, so I'm not going to do that right now at the moment what else there's programs for settings if I can hit that we got developmental settings manage applications call settings Gmail Gtalk browser settings let's take a quick look at your everyday Android things like the dialer which looks pretty clean simple to it the contacts which looks almost identically to the iPhone you have your little buttons over here you just click and go to a section the little stars next to the name means they're favorited you have the browser pinch zoom works pretty well as you see there is some lag to it um, the messaging system let's see if I can get a, her to reply to me so I can show you guys the notification system that comes on here um, the music player it looks like standard Android right there. They're going to all songs. Shuffle. See what that looks like. Well, that looks like the iPhone a little bit. I like the equalizer at the bottom. Yeah, it does a little flip thing like on the iPhone. A lot of iPhone effects to this. 
But as I said in another video, this is a ROM that's supposed to like looks like it's supposed to recreate iOS for Android. Um, let's turn that music off for now. Um, let's get into the notification bar so you can what that looks like. We have here 12 toggles for things like airplane mode, GPS, uh, lock the screen, Wi-Fi, data volume, and a brightness display setting down here. That off the screen. And so that way you don't have to dive into all the settings to get to all the things that you need fast. Notifications works the same way as on regular Android. I don't know why it always does that when I hit home. Let's see what's inside tools. Tools has super user, voice dialer, calculator. And that's the standard gingerbread calculator. Clock and backup. Let's see what backup is. Okay, backup looks like it's something that has to do with the ROM, so we're not going to mess with that right now. Um, let's go ahead and... So let's run a Linpack test real quick, see what kind of scores we get. Hmm. Well, there we go, I ran it three times and that seems pretty low to what I've seen on other phones, getting around 32. Let's also run a Quadrant. And let that focus if it will. I don't believe it is, so let's try to run that and see if it'll refocus. Okay, I'm gonna let this run and I'll come back when the score pops up. And here we are with the end of the quadrant video. So you guys the scores. Went ahead and got my charger while I was waiting. And see that descending. Oh. Here's the notification system I was talking about earlier. I don't like it because it's not in the background. It comes right in front of whatever you're doing, stops you from what you're doing, which I don't really don't like. I don't like to be interrupted when I'm doing things. I like to be able to check the text whenever I want. So that's one thing I don't like about it. But for some people, you guys may like this. You're able to reply right from here. Keyboard pops up, and you can just reply right from there. But here's what you guys want to see, is those test results, let's see if I can get that in focus right there, that says 703 compared to the stock Evo, which is in the, somewhere in the thousands, and even when I had my Evo at stock, I've never gotten it to go that high, the highest I ever got my Evo to go was around maybe 9, 980 maybe, so despite the fact of the quadrant score and the Limpact scores, I really think this ROM is still an overall great ROM. It's fast, it's smooth, it's stable, and it's gingerbread for your Evo. Who wouldn't love that? Battery life is good. As I told you, I got about 13 hours on my first boot, first day. So, overall, the ROM is fantastic. No 4G, but if you don't live in a 4G city, then you don't need the 4G. 4G is coming soon in a future update. I just don't know how soon. So... If you guys want to check out the ROM, the download, or the... Alright, here we are. I'm back. I'm sorry, my batteries died. I had to change them. But as I was saying before, if you guys like the ROM, if you want to test it out, if you want to try it yourself, the link to the XDA form will be in the description below. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll read them. I'll either respond or write them on the list to cover in the next video I do about this ROM. If I get enough questions, I'll definitely do another video on the ROM answering everybody's questions as I did in the beginning of this video about the transition effects of the screen. Um, have a nice day, y'all. Thanks for watching.